zero to ten thousand dollar challenge doing no work whatsoever but why point one earning some money it's easy to relate to and for the audience to follow and the other thing being is it's clearly defined and that's important to me because for those of you who don't know i also run a podcast and we're nearly up to a million downloads in the next three or four weeks we will get there but it's on a subject which is not easily to define and because it's not easy to define it's not easy for the audience to follow so i plan to pack that in yet i still do need a creative outlet to help me just switch off from a full-time job and point two doing no work whatsoever it's simple i manage a team of 19 staff and i want to become a better leader of others and the most important reason of all and the main motivation for this project is that at the moment we have a very young family we have four children under the age of six i'm nearly seven she's not and Kerry is currently a full-time mum. So I was thinking, if I could find a way of setting up a business which could generate an extra $10,000 a year and give us the flexibility and freedom to bring up our family, that would be amazing. But there's a problem. I'll explain in a little bit more detail in another video if you like. Comment if you want me to. Only 2% of people take on board information the same way I do. And that's not because I'm wearing a hoodie or glasses. Yet 75% of people take on board information the same way, but that's different to the way I do, which causes me a lot of issues because it means the way I take on board information and the way I need to communicate it with others is completely different. This causes me a lot of issues with those people around me, both in work and at home. I noticed that. And I was thinking that at both work and at home, if I could get clear on what the big picture is in my own mind, if I could then break it down into manageable chunks and then communicate that message clearly to others, then that's going to benefit both my home life and the work I do at work. So my plan is to record this journey by producing regular unedited content. It might not be pretty, it might not be to the point, but it will be real, authentic and completely me. I'm not driving, by the way. That's against the law. What about involving others? Good point. So if you've seen the other videos so far, you know that until this moment in time, most of what has been recorded is me getting others on board. And they are family and friends at this moment in time. I also need people who are big picture orientated, those who see the bigger vision, the incomplete information and can think about how it goes together and maybe have specific ideas or knowledges or experience on helping me create that business. Of course, being friends and family and me being in a place where I can't do any of the work myself, they're also going to be the ones who need to do a bit of work for me to start off with. So stage one is about just earning some money. Stage two is using that to create a business. Stage three is documenting it and designing it into some kind of blueprint, which is learnable and teachable. And stage four is then us thinking about scaling it.